Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today, I wanted to share seven things that I have learned from four years of being a sawmill operator. Let's get into this video. All right, just jumping right into it. The first one is knowing what a log can yield just by looking at it. At this point, I have cut thousands of logs and one important skill I have gained but easily take for granted is the ability to easily look at a log and know what, what dimensions are best for it without having to measure. This saves a lot of time once you get it down and it's especially useful when you are cutting for an order and have to pick specific logs that are best suited for it. Number two is properly identifying tree species. This is a skill that I thoroughly enjoy having, although I'm not gonna lie, I'm still learning. Knowing what species a tree is, is of course vital when you are a sawmill operator. Nothing worse than having a tree on the deck and not knowing what on earth it is. At our sawmill, the species completely dictates the dimensions that we cut, so properly identifying the logs is very important. Number three is quickly calculating dimensions. Now, I've never been that good at math, but when it comes to running a sawmill, there is definitely a certain kind of math involved. And I've gotten pretty good over the years at quickly doing lumber math in my head. You might be wondering how much the computer does for you. While I must say the AccuSet 2 does make it very easy, there's still a lot of calculating that must be done. Although for any of you who've ever run a smaller homeowner's mill like the LT15, you know that it can be a lot harder without the computer. Number four, efficiency of movement. Our family business highly relies on production. Because of this, we are constantly striving to do more with the same amount of time. And while I think we can all agree that upgrading to a faster mill is a good option, there is also another way to maximize production. Become efficient. Because this is something that we practice as well as strive for at the business, I also see it carry into my life outside of work as well. And that's why I consider it a gain from the job. Another one is that no log is created equal. Something that I have learned is that when you are milling, you have to adjust your method for the specific log. Everyone is a little different, just like snowflakes. Because of this, you have to be ready to adjust in order to get the maximum yield. Number six is how to minimize waste. This one I talk extensively about on the channel because it's an important aspect of our business. Having a zero waste strategy implemented has really made our brains work and get creative. This starts at the mill when we are cutting a log. If you are not very specific, then there are lots of waste cuts. It is up to the mill operator to prevent this as much as possible, although sometimes, admittably, it's unavoidable. And last but not least, teamwork. Through the years, my sister and I have made the best team you can imagine. Being able to work alongside my sister has been what's made this job enjoyable. Working around loud machinery, it can be hard to communicate properly over the noise. At this point, we have learned to practically read each other's minds, developing a sense for what the other needs. That's it for today's video, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, ring the notifications bell, and subscribe to the channel. But other than that, we'll see you back here next time.